Hello and welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Amanda Knox has one less vacation spot in her near future. <laughs> Jokes. After being tried three times for the murder of 21-year-old Meredith Kircher back in 2007, Italy's highest court has ordered a new trial because, like, you know, why not? The announcement was met with shock silence in the courtroom, and the case against Miss Knox will be reheard later this year or in 2014. The ruling calls for Miss Knox and her former boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, to return even though the two were acquitted 18 months ago. However, this ruling overturns that acquittal. Now, you may or may not be familiar with Amanda Knox and her ongoing trial, and if that's the case, you should check out some court documents, maybe a little Wikipedia, and if you're brave enough, some internet comment sections. But the Amanda Knox saga is one of the few stories that really is as insane as the passionate opinions surrounding it. For example, Knox was accused of wanting to have a four-person orgy and murdering Meredith Kircher when she didn't want to have said orgy. And then it was said that Meredith accused Knox of not being particularly clean, so Knox murdered her for that. The details of the story are freaking crazy, so we're gonna pelt you with some of them right now. Are you ready, Elliot? So ready, Joe. Three, two, one, go. The the murder victim was found in her bedroom with a slit throat. Later that day, Knox and her former BF were arrested and later convicted of murder, each sentenced to 25 years. Then the convictions were overturned, then the two were released, then an appeal was filed, then Amanda's lawyers appealed against an accusation of calumny, then the Tuesday ruling upheld said charge. And don't even get us started on old Rudy, who was a dude tried separately and sentenced to 16 years for murder. Facts, 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 facts. In the past, whatever, so what happens now? Amanda Knox is in America, and America will probably not extradite her. In fact, the Italian judge might not even fight for extradition since they know it will be an uphill battle. Then there are are the opinions surrounding the story, which range from like, oh, she's rich and white, so she probably is a murderer because rich people are evil, to oh, she's a beautiful American and therefore she must inherently be innocent, to the Italian judicial system is corrupt and our system isn't corrupt and they're evil and we're not and we're perfect and they're not perfect and we can't allow this to happen, blah, outrage everywhere. So, here are my thoughts. No one knows what happened that night. No one knows exactly what led to the murder of Meredith Kircher, who, as much as Amanda Knox may not have deserved to go through this whole ordeal, also did not deserve to die. Also, whether we like to admit it or not, pretty people are often more sympathetic with. And Amanda Knox might be the most adorable murderer ever. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, the issue here is that apparently Italy doesn't worry about that whole double jeopardy thing. So this whole thing is just fascinating. And just so you, the viewer, know, and you're crystal clear on our particular bias in this story, allow us to spell it out for you. <clears throat> W-E-D-O-N-O-T-K-N-O-W. What to think. We don't know what to think. I don't know if I believe she's innocent. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe there's some more truth to be found out there and we just haven't found it. Still, you can't just continue throwing crap at a wall until something sticks. That's not how justice works. Yep, I think she probably knows more than she lets on, but I don't believe that she's a murderer. But I've been wrong before. So again, W-E Don't know what to think. We don't know what to think. Yeah, so tell us your opinion on this bag of crazy down below. And hey, while you're down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can click this annotation for more daily stories with all of our rock-solid opinions yeah. all the time. I'm Elliot Moore. I'm Joe Beretta. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching, Josh. Bye.